10.30 p.m. the day before election day. Who's going into the Downing Street house? You decide. Good evening. It's all over, bar the voting. By this time tomorrow, the polls will be closed and we'll be on the cusp of a new government. They ate, they sang, and they kissed their way to the end. The campaigning is finally over, but what will happen tomorrow? The Newsnight camper van finally reaches Land's End. What have we learned on its journey through Britain? And why has this election so signally failed to connect with the voters? Tony Blair's final day campaigning had him whistling around England, Scotland and Wales. His targets included such marginal places as Castleford and Pontefract, where Labour's sitting on a majority of a mere 25,000. The reason for visiting such places is simple. However much confidence they may appear to have, Labour believes there may be a problem, a real problem, in getting out the vote. Our political editor, Martha Carney, joins us now from another constituency with a hefty majority, Tony Blair's own seat of Sedgefield. Martha. Jeremy, yes, I'm here at Trimden Labour Club, where Tony Blair left just a little while ago. And the main story of the day has been the political parties trying to get their vote out. I must say, if the rain continues like that, it's going to be quite a task. I spent the last day of the campaign with Tony Blair, the Prime Minister. This was more than just a... After 870 miles and enough breakdowns to keep the population of a small town of mechanics busy, the election journey is finally completed. We've made it! Yes, here we are in Land's End, the final point of the Newsnight election journey. We brought some other VW owners and drivers with us. We'll be talking to them in a moment. But this is the last resting place of the Newsnight election camper van, to which we've been very much attached. Um, we think about 1,400 miles from John O'Groats. We can't be sure because the mileometer's broken. But as you'll know, a journey not without incident. This is the Newsnight election vehicle. No expense spared. This is Newsnight's rapid response operation, able to deploy on a story within seconds. Well, reasonably quickly anyway. Election campaign has been launched today. Your thoughts? <laughs> is that sufficient? Worth. Something of a vintage model. 1976. Yes. Fashion news night uh, thingy. It's up there. Yeah. The van's up there. They didn't do you very proud, did they? <laughs> Not us <laughs> a very good one, no. I'm a man of means by no means. Third box. What's that? What's that? Old heap doing in my town. It's going to go up and down the whole length of the country. That, you'll never make it. Well, we're I don't worried about it, actually. I don't think you'll get out, out of Hartlepool by the look of it. King of the road. Trainers Do you think Gordon Brown has run a perfect campaign so far? Right. Now, let's stop this because I'm not going to do this in here, I'm afraid. Oh, good boy. Cheerio. Oh, good boy. Cheerio. Oh, will she pull through? She certainly will. <laughs> <Are you> sure? <laughs> yes, she will. <laughs> We've got to get down to Land's End. So. Right. I'll come with you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to. <laughs> Sometimes things get too on top of you and you've got to do something about it. Straight left like that. Yes! Yes! This ain't no technological breakdown Although this is the road to hell I 
get the news I need on the weather report. I can gather all the news I need on the weather report. So here is the question of the election in Bristol. Can the politicians come to the city and compete with this? What's gone wrong in the poll? Oh, we're not interested in opinion polls. It's like the. Oh, Lord, I trouble so hard. Oh, Lord, I trouble so hard. Don't nobody know my trouble but God. Friends, friends, we are in peril. We stand here. My name, my name is Tacticus. Come on, take that off. Oh, come on. Oh, I see. Well, yeah, sorry. come on. Come on, you've got to put no, it no, on. No, no, no. <laughs> had enough of it. <laughs> Why did you take that off just then? <laughs> I had enough now. <laughs> countryside down. Can't trust any of them, can you really? Oh,